Hey everyone, welcome to another series I'm doing and these series are going to be primarily about Vue and uh, by the end of it I'm going to show you how to integrate it with .NET Core. So this course is aimed at is if you know a little bit of JavaScript, mainly requires you to know HTML uh, and the rest I'll try to explain to you as best as I can. And for those of you that are just sort of learning a front end, uh, so like uh, HTML, JavaScript, view, how to build uh, web pages, and you don't know how to set up like servers and uh, APIs and how to serve information stored in the, in the database, that's the .NET Core part. And uh, I have uh, other tutorials on my page explaining how to use .NET Core. And uh, if you want to learn how to build a APIs and stuff like that, go check out my other series. But this one is going to be primarily about Vue. So I want to start off quickly, just why do you want to use Vue? And uh, really, if you're here, you probably already know the main benefits. It's easy to learn. Uh, no doubt about that. It's the easiest out of the three. It's progressive. So what does progressive mean? Really, it's just uh, if you have an existing project, you can just slap Vue on top of it and uh, extend it that way. And you don't have to change anything else that you do in your program if you would uh, do that some with angular you'd have to change the whole program to accommodate that and uh, Vue has a massive community support people love it so there is a lot of information available online about it a lot of plugins a lot of um, node packages that you can use and pretty much anything that you think you need to build already exists so, and you can just add a package and it already works. And I think it's sexy. Vue is really um, enjoyable to use and uh, program with. Really, what problem are we trying to solve? So if you ever tried to manipulate the DOM or rather HTML using vanilla JavaScript, or if you've been around and you've been uh, using jQuery to manipulate DOM, you know it can get quite messy and templating Java, uh, uh, templating, uh, HTML can be a problem. So this is what we're really trying to solve, is templating HTML, remove the mess, and thus this allows us to create more advanced UIs just because of how seamlessly we can manipulate it. And really, the core concept you need to understand is that you're trying to present your objects as HTML. So let's say you have a comment, so same as comments on YouTube. If that's one object that contains user information, the actual comment, and um, maybe the like, uh, the amount of likes and dislikes. And that can be just mapped to HTML. Now, if you have an array of comments, you can map a whole lot of comments. And pretty much the same goes for products and on like uh, online shops, uh, video elements. So it's pretty much making your object into an HTML element. So the main things I'm going to be covering in these tutorials is the core functionality of Vue. So we're going to go over the whole shebang and uh, I'm going to show you some bottlenecks and how to go around them. Uh, then we're going to look at the node package ma uh, management and how to basically set up your JavaScript development environment. From there, we're going to step into Webpack and I'm going to show you how to bundle up your application, your different JavaScript files into one thing. So if you don't, if you if you are a little bit shaky with Node Package, uh, uh, with Node Package Manager, Webpack, that you might benefit from these tutorials a lot. And from there on, we're gonna step into Vue CLI three and building SPAS. Uh, and after that, we're gonna look at Vue Router and Vue X. And once we cover all basically main apps aspects of Vue, we are gonna see how we can integrate that with an API and the da database and how it all basically works together. So I think that's enough for the introduction. Just uh, some uh, key points to take away. Make sure you check the description. I leave a lot of links with extra information there. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I answer my comments very actively. So if you have questions, make sure to comment. And as always, like, subscribe if you enjoy these series. So let's get started. 